is about to be decided. Now, it's the expected lineup for Real Madrid tonight. Ronaldo's fit despite the scare in training on Monday. Pepe starts alongside Sergio Ramos in defence, with Rafa Varane out injured. Casemiro starts in midfield. Karim Benzema is fit after missing the semi-final second leg, with Gareth Bale still looking for his first Champions League goal of the season. Well, it works, so why change it? It's a team that just about picks itself in big games these days. Juan Fran, Godin and Felipe Luis all started the final two years ago. Stefan Savic gets the nod over Jose Maria Jimenez tonight. That was the big decision for Diego Simeone. Fernandez, Coque and Gabi are tried and tested in midfield. The front three have all popped up with big goals en route to the final. Sal the... And slightly later than advertised, the 2016 Champions League final underway with the left foot here of Gareth Bale and he's put it into a, a really good area and it was a fantastic save by Oblak it's Casemiro who came in, I think it was Oblak has been in such good form all season and this is a huge save early on well, there's no question about side that is an incredible save from Oblak and then any question about is he one of the best keepers in the Champions League he's just proven after five minutes that's a crowded out by four Better from Madrid players. It's certainly close. We get the flex of scored from this kind of situation. In the previous final between these two, close with delivery. Bale helped it all, and it's gone in. And Sergio Ramos is claiming the Real Madrid goal. And just like he did two years ago, the Real Madrid captain scores. Again, little things add up, giving away free kicks. In silly areas, it's cost them. Real Madrid's best chance came from a free kick from Gareth Bale on the other side. And it's not a great ball in from Tony Cruz. But a flick on just causes chaos, and even against the best defence. Not a great ball in. There's a suspicion offside. Just be leaning offside, Sergio Ramos. Just grabs a hold of Stefan Savage as well. But that flick here from Gareth Bale causes a bit of chaos. Savage gets turned around. And it's just a good take from Sergio Ramos. Space here for uh, Felipe Luis. Ramos and Pepe were in there. Juan Frank can attack it. Couldn't keep it down. It was the first promising position that Atletico have managed to create, and it's taken almost 25 minutes. There's the Ramos goal. Well, it's probably just slightly offside, see there, Savage gets turned around, it's difficult, once the flick comes there, causes chaos, he looks offside there, but again, so many bodies. Gets in the game, that's the, that's the one there. He's in this time, Ramos came across and was able to... Here's the captain, Gabby. Godin stayed forward, Ramos attacked it well. Now Koke swings a dangerous ball in, but Kaylor now exactly that, step in and break it up. And he's got Benzema supporting him here. Here is Kari Benzema. Did really well to shake off Godin and a strong arm from Oblak. Which is no options in forward areas. Comfortable possession here for Augusto. It's a better ball from Koke, his Griezmann. Gone for it. Straight at Kaylor Navas. I suppose it's a shot in anger. Torres is waiting in the penalty area. Still Felipe Luis. And then Gabby. Griezmann is offside. Struck it really well anyway. He wasn't aware of the uh, assistance flag, but it went up very quickly. But that's where he needs to be on the shoulder. This is some ball from Gabby. Great vision and awareness, but he's just offside. But if he's there. He's going to cause Real Madrid problems. I think he just made it too easy so far for Real Madrid. Haven't tested him. Stay in games. Found a way to win on the counter. It's at 48% possession. It was not in the script. Here's Griezmann. It's a couple of so a whole host of uh, Real Madrid defensive players there. Gabby threatened through for Antoine Griezmann. Uh, Griezmann hits a low one. Just dragged it, didn't quite connect with it. 
as he would have liked to have done, but just one or two signs here in the last three or four minutes that Griezmann is becoming more of a factor. But well, that's where he needs to be, just there, just trying to get in behind or get on the half turn. It's such a good feel for the game, moving. I think even the last 15 minutes he's been terrific. I think they need more from the second leg of the semi-final that you couldn't see what they'd be able to do in the second half, but they scored early in the second half, although to run in the second half, only ran into Gabby. Now Antoine Griezmann, Fernando Torres and Pepe was in there and Mark Lambert says penalty. And here is the response at the start of the second half for Atletico Madrid. Clumsy from Pepe and Mark Lambert made his mind up quickly. And then Rio and Maka said in the CDO, can you play between lines, get the ball into feet. Torres is exactly where he needs to be as a centre forward. That's a great ball in from Griezmann. That's a clear penalty. Pepe, that's a dreadful decision. He's been so composed in this Champions League, but that's the old Pepe, rash, poor decision. And as we said, Torres hasn't had much impact on the game. He has a massive one here at the start of this second half. Never saved the penalty from Antoine Griezmann in the Madrid derby. Yellow card for the Real goalkeeper. Griezmann scored in the quarter-final. And scored in the semi-final. He's been such a key man for Atletico en route to Milan tonight. Griezmann versus Navas. And he's hit the bar. What an opportunity wasted by Kaylor Navas. Might it have been in Griezmann's mind, though, in the fact that Navas had saved this penalty? Well, he's made his mind up well before. OK, for the European Championships this summer, with uh, hardly any time to try and recover. I suppose the only solace for Zidane is that they've got a like-for-like -like change to replace him with. He's had a difficult season, the he look big money signing from Porto. Hasn't really worked out from, I think, Carl Bartman by far, first choice. But he's a terrific... Savic and Godin have got into the penalty area. Griezmann hovering in there, two around the six-yard box. It's in towards Torres. It's not fully clear! going to be a goal kick, it was Savic who was sticking his leg out to try and divert it goalwards, but they didn't deal with that corner at all, did they, Real Madrid? Well, Goldie, so terrific, header of the ball, gets a free header. Desire about the players too. Here's Gareth Bale, hits it well, Gareth Bale, but it was always travelling wide of Oblak's goal. Gareth Bale makes the game look so easy, so effortless. It's a terrific athlete, and once he gets moving, such a great strike with the ball as well. Playing with a tremendous amount of confidence at the moment, Real Madrid, they finish the... Now Carrasco, looking to pick out Fernando Torres, it's away by Pepe. Ronaldo was in there helping, Mark Klattenberg says play on, and Koke saw it dropping nicely for him. All oh, the difference in energy and intensity, He's staggering, winning second balls, pressing the ball. Such a different performance in this second half. I think Zinedine Zidane realised he has the players to so try control the tempo, manage the occasion. In the second half, with the extra attacking player ahead of him, here he is, Carrasco rolled away from Modric and then gets it back, and he's got Torres and Salvigues, who was waiting for it. Well, that goal's coming by Atletico Madrid. Such positive play. And Steve McMahon said, need to play quicker. They've definitely done this in that second half, Carrasco. And again, getting bodies forward, Sanli Guez getting in the box. It's a difficult take, but really positive play. And the energy is the biggest difference. Well, they need forward runners, Atletico. Sanli Guez with a shot in the end. The deflection, the wall that is sure, it'll be a corner. Defending, isn't it, from uh, Real Madrid to play out from there. Now Modric, Benzema, Benzema's in here. Big save again from Oblak. It's the second. Real Madrid will get opportunities on the counter. Great ball outside of the foot from Modric. Savage doesn't come across. But Oblak makes a terrific save with his body. Made by Felipe Luis towards Fernando Torres the 93rd minute then to force extra time.
Here's Ronaldo though, and Ronaldo took it early. And it was just picking out a pass. It's been exceptional this evening. Here's Bale weaving his way through, and still Bale, and then Ronaldo, and Oakland was there to meet him, and then Vasquez misses his kick. Bale for Real Madrid, away by Savage. It's a block that keeps Athletic... Here's Antoine Griezmann. Now the game has opened as it's been. Gabby lifts one forward here for Lanfram. It's dangerous and it's in. And they come back to level it. And it's the man who's come off the bench, Yannick Carrasco, who's got the goal. Oh, what a game. And they deserve it. They've been exceptional in this second half. Family members are there, just pitch side. Brilliant second half from Atletico Madrid. Putting so many bodies forward. Carrasco with just great to earn this. To get in the box when the ball's in a wide area. Brilliant. They played so well, Atletico Madrid. Created opportunities. And we said, this is the side where there's opportunities. Brilliant. Great cross from one front. Carrasco. It's a terrific one off the shoulder of Danilo. Well, he's another one off the Belgian production line, isn't he? Yannick Carrasco. There's the goal. Lucas Vasquez couldn't stop him. Just over 50 seconds after Stefan Savic made that block from Gareth Bale at the other end. And he not made it. And Koke. Juan Fran. Well, Gabby stayed down after the challenge by Ronaldo, and it goes towards Fernando Torres, and didn't get it with the foot. Marcelo. A little bit of acceleration from Marcelo, and now Bale. Looking to try and pick out the near post when he got others in white. Waiting in there too, and of course, Ronaldo. It's a dangerous one, and it was Bale who was attacking it. Was. Well, he's in the air, he's been exceptional. And this is going in, I think, but it comes off Pepe. His ability to attack the ball and the ball. Modric to Bale. And now Marcelo. And Ronaldo waiting for the cross. Sal the guess was back there. It was a fantastic cross that was whipped in by Marcelo. For Atletico to win it. Gabby sends it in. Godin helps it on towards Torres. Casemiro was there. And Mark Clattenburg blows. The full-time whistle for now. It's the 17th final to go to extra time. And it's on the way because it's one all after 90 minutes with other chapters still to be written here in Milan. <laughs> like two years ago, these two sides go into extra time with more ground than any other players in the Champions League on route to this final tonight. Their fitness can't be questioned. <laughs> Casemiro. Doesn't score very often. Tete and Ramos on their way in. It's in by Isco and it's in towards Ronaldo. I don't think you can really believe that he didn't get more contact on the header. Well, it's a free header. Again, set pieces. How on earth he hasn't scored. That's a gift for Cristiano Ronaldo. Normally that's in the back. Dominic Koke to take the corner. Flipped away by Bale. And then acrobatically steered towards goal by uh, Griezmann. Well, there's half time in extra time. Well, again, Bale winning another header. Just pulling up there that crowd. Ronaldo's another one out there in uh, Real Madrid White who's feeling the pace. Here's Casemiro. Just to work the. Uh, with most of his free kicks. What can he do here? Straight into the wall. Block. Now Isco. He's got Marcelo outside him. Here is Marcelo. In it goes. The chance for Lucas Vasquez. What a vital challenge. Here's Danilo. And Ronaldo's waiting for it in the middle. It's away by Oblak. Clear as far in the second leg of the semi-final. Against young Lucas Vasquez. Who scores? Brilliant. 
It's not always about being the best player. It's about being confident in the moment. Embrace it. You need a positive picture. Griezmann against Navas, and this time he gets the job done. How cool is that? And it's 2 ones to Real Madrid, and that's the third. Gavi Di Atletico captain against Kaylor Navas. 2-2. Two -two. Brilliant pass. Swear. Here comes Bale. Very, very calmly done. Well, and he's... Make it 3-3, and it's an exhibition so far. percent so far. And Sergio Ramos with another fat win. Juan Fran against Navas, and there's the first mistake in house. And the destiny of the Champions League falls onto the shoulders of Real Madrid's greatest ever goal scorer. Ronaldo to win the Champions League. And he does do! Real Madrid have won the Champions League for the 11th time. And Cristiano Ronaldo with the significant penalty to seal it. Football is so cruel sometimes. What a performance from Diego Simeone, his players in this second half. Real Madrid found a way to get this game to penalties. Injuries, fatigue, cramp. Well, he missed the penalty in the shootout for Manchester United against Chelsea eight years ago. And he also missed the last time Real Madrid lost a penalty shootout in the Champions League against Bayern Munich. But Cristiano Ronaldo is the man for the big occasion. And on the biggest stage of all in club football, he came up with the goods when it mattered. The great ones always step up. Cristiano Ronaldo, arguably one of the greatest players we've ever seen. His manager, Zinedine Zidane, what a season it's been for him. Probably one of the greatest players at stepping up to the occasion in the Champions League final against Leverkusen in the World Cup. Brilliant moment for these fans. The contrast of emotions inside the San Siro, and while Ronaldo and Real Madrid can celebrate, spare a thought for Juanfran, whose penalty that hit the post was so decisive in the end. Well, I just don't think he didn't look comfortable when he stepped up. As I said, it wasn't a great run-up, and it wasn't a good penalty. Well, it's Real Madrid again. They've made such a habit of winning this competition, and look what it means to Cristiano Ronaldo. And Diego Simeone now has to try and lift those players, because they've done so well to get this far. Desolation for Atletico and sheer joy for the players and the staff of Real Madrid. Well, as I said before, football can be so cruel. Emotionally, the highs and lows of the game. Real Madrid dominated that first half. Atletico Madrid dominated from there on. Gets it to penalties. But the quality of Real Madrid in the penalty shootout was the difference. We talked about it all game, a game of fine margins.